here. That yeah, that's it. Those uh, strings that start with country colon, those are all IDs, uh, properties yeah. in the in the normalized list. Yeah. Um, yeah. And all of these little you know objects that contain code and type name and name and everything would just be like elements of the country's array if we had not specified the the key fields for yeah. the country type. Yeah. So actually, as a fun um, test, so let's go back real quick because that will only take a second. And let's just remove it and rerun yeah. it. Let's comment this line out. And now if we look at the cache, yeah. it's going to be completely different. See, notice we only have this one root query property. That's right. And, and it's all the countries, and then they're all going to be embedded in line. And yep. so now this is just our one cache entry, which is really not what we want. And it's also like, how do you get yeah. to this other stuff, right? Like, okay. I mean, it's not the case that you wouldn't always, like there will be times when maybe you do just want to keep the nested data within the list. But yep. for, for some purposes, and especially our current ones, we want to normalize it so that we have um, yeah. each individual item surfaced. So we yeah. can reference I it. would say... If, if you're working with a list, you almost always want to make sure that the elements of the list are yeah. normalized. Yeah. 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 And again, so now we come back, we open this up, and it's it's back. We have all these, these root level uh, cache entries. Yeah. 